Get the all new Captain Desk Desk merch now available at deskmerch.com. Just look at that craftsmanship. Wow. So get the two new shirts available for a limited time only. And get the special edition shirt available only for patrons at patreon.com slash Captain Desk Desk. So stop being a little bitch and go get it today. James Charles versus the internet. A camera for your dick? And is garlic safe in your vagina? That and more coming up. This is What the F*** News. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to What the F*** News. My name is Destry and I'm pretty sure I've realized what my next venture in life is gonna be. I've decided I want to be a uh, food critic. Just think it'd be really fun and easy to just sit there and judge food like, oh, the breading on this is absolutely atrocious. As well as these noodles, what the f***? Oh, this chicken tastes like a dog's asshole. And then people that respect and value my opinion as a critic are like, how does he know what a dog's asshole tastes like? What the f***? And for the sweet mercy of a small titted succubus, let's f***ing talk about this presentation. I'd rather someone f***ing fondle my fart hole than look at this shit again. And then that way, they always have to give me their best food because they're afraid I'm gonna say something bad about it. Do you guys know that the last place he went to, he said their lasagna tastes like Dr. Jekyll's urine? What does that even mean? I think I'd be really good at it. But anyways, welcome back to What The F*** News, where we talk about the weird side of the news that you might have missed in the last couple of weeks. And really quick, guys, I'd again like to thank VPN for sponsoring this video. With all the incredibly stupid laws being taken into effect all over the world right now, some of which limiting internet privacy for certain countries, there really is no better time to get a VPN or a virtual private network. With just one click, you mask all of your internet activity from the prying eyes of the government getting all up in your sh**. And with several super fast servers all over the world, you can change your internet location to look like you're coming from a different country. But all of it is possible possible using VPN, so guys, make sure to check out the link in the description down below, and use coupon code DESTRYSMITH for 10% off your purchase. Ah! On to our first story of the day, which everyone wanted me to talk about today, is James motherfucking Charles. Hi, sisters! Ah! Only I don't think his middle name is motherfucking. But, anyways, so if you haven't heard from the thousands of other YouTubers making videos about the subject, James Charles, the incredibly popular beauty guru YouTuber with over 16 million subscribers, has over the course of just a few days lost over 3 million of those subscribers, putting him at number one of the most amount of subscribers lost in 24 hours. So why did this happen? Well, as I mentioned, a lot of other channels have made videos about the subject, so I don't feel like I need to go into super detail about what happened, but it essentially revolves around a fellow beauty community YouTuber named Tati Westbrook exposing James Charles in a 40 minute video she posted to her channel called By Sister, where she goes into intricate detail on how he betrayed her and how he apparently uses his money and fame to trick straight guys into doing stuff with him. Like, like, like sexual stuff. <gasps> This was made even worse when another beauty guru YouTuber, Jeffree Star, chimed in and seemed to be on Tati's side, even going as far as to tweet that James was a danger to society. James then made a video apologizing to Tati, to which Tati made another video, to which James made another video refuting all the evidence against Tati and Jeffree, playing a massive Uno reverse card and saying like, hell no bitch, and then Tati made another tweet, and then Jeffree came in with another video, and then James came in with another video, and it- <sighs> And I know all of you are super interested as to hear what I have to say about the matter, so I've prepared a statement that I shall now read out loud to all of you. <clears throat> Honestly, who gives a f This is so stupid. This seems like a thing that needed to be handled in private, not by making several f***ing videos about it. So no, this isn't me taking anyone's side. I think the fact that he lost that many subscribers is baffling to me. It just seems like a classic case of outrage slash cancel culture where just everyone jumped on the bandwagon of hating this guy for a single action that someone said in a video without knowing the full story first. It'd be like if someone made a video about me and was like, Did you know that Destry hunts lemurs in his spare time? Yeah, check out this proof. There it is. Boom. Yeah, unsubscribe to that guy. He's terrible. And then everyone's like, oh, yo, dude, this guy hunts lemurs, bro. That's so uncool, dude. But the one thing I, I feel like was even worthy enough to bring up at all was if James Charles actually does use his money and fame to trick straight guys into doing shit with him. Which, based on the screenshots he used in his video to refute all the evidence against him, it seems like he doesn't. But that's another problem I have with just all the drama that happens online. Everyone just uses screenshots like it's a fucking universal proof that something did didn't or did happen. Bitch, you know how f***ing easy it is to modify screenshots? Like, look at this, wow. Here's a conversation between me and Barack Obama. Look at us, we're so tight, broski. What, it's not fake, look at it, it's right, it's right there. Here's a conversation uh, I had with Juno Temple, as you can see, we are 
fucking doing stuff. Here's a conversation I'm having with uh, Pluto Nash, just telling him how bad that movie is. Here's a conversation I'm having with Ryan Johnson, the director of Star Wars Episode Eight. I think it was a pretty good conversation. So that bothers me, but whatever. But I feel like anyone with internet fame could be made to be looked at like no matter what they're doing, they're using their fame for something. Like I got a free Baja Blast at Taco Bell the other day because I got recognized. Does that mean I'm using my fame? Oh my God, Death Free is confirmed a terrible person. <laughs> But they're making it seem like James Charles is like, Howdy, wanna f Oh, no, no thank you, I'm straight. But money though! Okay. But gay men liking straight guys isn't a crime. In fact, it's super common in the LGBT community, so I don't know. I don't know if you guys expected me to have a different opinion on this, but it just seems like personal drama that should have been handled privately. And the only reason I'm talking about this story at all is because the true what the f of this story is just how many people immediately jumped at his throat. Three million people unfollowed him in just a few days. Brands ended relationships. Celebrities unfollowed it all because no one had the full story what was even more disgusting about this whole thing is that some people went as far as to make up completely untrue stories about James Charles just to try to capitalize on the whole drama of this thing and people just believed it because it was shared enough time to be honest it's upsetting that these drama videos get this amount of views right now like 50 million views rough estimates puts that at a hundred thousand dollars she made just from that video dear fucking god I should just start calling people out in videos and see if my views go up in fact that in mind I have a few things that I need to say while a very harsh ring light overexposes me over a gray background hello oh I am here to expose Shane Dawson that's right this man drinks way too much diet root beer. Did you know that roots are a part of a plant? Ipso facto, Shane is a plant murderer. Hashtag Shane murders plants. Hello, I'm here to call out Eugenia Cooney. She's way too nice and I don't like it. Hashtag be meaner Eugenia to Jeff Holiday. You're way too sexy, please stop. Hashtag I wanna bang Jeff Holiday. To Onision. Do I even need to say anything? Hashtag why bother? Hello, I'm here to call out Johnny Gilbert. That guy Tana stole my hairstyle, Tana. okay? I had it first, why it's don't you get your own? Don't work, like, so but I don't like it, so why don't you change that, okay? And he didn't okay. even okay, make me correct. Like, to H&M, why, why did you make a shirt that makes me look this good? You sue the bejesus out of you. I don't like mangoes, okay? I don't know what it is about them, but I just don't like, I don't trust them. Freaking in for it, dude. So while I don't have a single f***ing clue about the beauty community and I'm totally okay with looking like one of those hyper-realistic Spongebob drawings, the bottom line I want to get across in this video is, is don't immediately just jump on the bandwagon of hating anyone. I think there's a culture around it, I think it's incredibly toxic, and I think if I could take away one thing from all of the just hours of drama videos I've had to watch in the last few days for this story, that is what I would want to take away. And James's own words. Joining in on bandwagon hate and cancel culture is incredibly, incredibly toxic. And it's very concerning to me that as a society, we're becoming okay with guilty until proven innocent instead of the other way around. But hey, if there was one good thing to come out of everyone hating James Charles, it was this meme. I'm okay with this. Especially on the 10 year anniversary of I Don't Even Know Nine and a Half, uh, my most popular video I've ever made. So, to everyone that's seen it, thank you guys so much. Next in What the f News, is your sex life boring? What sex life? Have you been looking for the next thing to spice it up for you and your loved one? Well, look no further, because a new sex toy just came out called the Cock Cam, which combines a camera and a penis ring. That's right, this is what we needed. This is the next stage of human evolution. Flying cars are a cure for cancer? Get out of here with that shit. We got a camera for your dick. <laughs> but the product, which only recently became available through a sex toy company called Jules, goes for around $160 and boasts some pretty impressive features including night vision, Wi-Fi settings to view the footage on your phone, 1080p quality, and up to 90 minute battery life on a full charge. Wow, that's 85 more minutes than I need! But I gotta say, regardless of whether or not you'd use this thing, the marketing for this product is oh my god. So the commercial is this beautifully, professionally shot story about a guy getting ready to base jump. And then all of a sudden, literally the next scene is the guy base jumping with his dick out and the cock cam footage. Just full shaft flopping in the fucking air like a trout. Oh, oh god. Oh, come on. Whose penis just flops around like that. Okay, how did this get investors, but my board game doesn't? That's right, I'm making a board game. But seriously, who's just like, all right, so what I have for you is a concept which takes a uh, dick ring and then puts a camera inside of it. It's super neat. Uh, you can use it as a security camera to make sure that your wang doesn't run away at night and go suntanning, because honestly, mine's way darker than the rest of my body. What up with that? Anyway, so all I'm asking for is just a small loan of a million dollars. What do you say? Wow, that was a compelling argument, and I am so investing in this. Like, what the f 
And for the love of Pete, I don't know anyone named Pete, but for the love of Pete, dude. Like, yeah, vaginas are pretty great, but like, no one wants to see just the direct inside of anyone. I, just, I don't think that's very flattering, just that motion, you know? Does this look good to you? No. No. Meanwhile, people are getting really turned on in the comments. Oh my god. <laughs> Just that motion and like getting all the way up in there, like no. Looks like the inside of a fucking predator's mouth. So unless you're for some reason into predator mouth porn, no one wants to see that. Speak for yourself. You laugh now, but soon your porn will only have shots of the inner vagina, you'll see. But also, I just wonder who actually buys a cock cam, you know? Just really gross 50 year old dudes wanting to spice up their marriage like, Hey honey, I got a cock cam! What the f Come on, baby! Let's use it! No, I'm absolutely not gonna use that thing. Get the f away from me. But it's my birthday! And I know you're probably like, Destry, you're incredibly f***ing weird. This product seems right up your alley. Why don't you have one? Well, funny thing about this story is when I was actually writing this video on my stream a couple weeks ago, um, I, I jokingly reached out to the Cock Cam company and was like, Hey, love your product. Would love to review it. And uh, they got back to me and were like, Yeah, absolutely. Where do we send it to? So... I now have a cock cam. <laughs> I know I'm not going to use it, at least not in the way that it was intended. What did you think I was going to do with it, guys, on my YouTube channel? Seriously? But I haven't opened it yet, so uh, I thought I would switch to other room Destry, who will be unboxing this product way too close to the microphone and using way too many hand gestures. Destry? Thank you, Destry. So, here we have uh, the cock cam, courtesy of Jules. Uh, first off, the box is very beautiful, as you can see. So, here I go. I'm just going to carefully remove this plastic. And, uh, okay, wow, got some little booklets in here. Probably, uh, tells you how to have sexual intercourse or something. Uh, as you can see, here's the actual device. It feels very nice in my hand. It feels like, uh, maybe a baby bat's wing. So I think we probably just jam this right the fuck in there or something. Uh, okay, it's a little sticky, boys. Uh, not sure what they do. Oh, ooh, is that a paperclip? I needed one of those. Thank God I spent $160 on a paperclip. Uh, looks like we got some sort of wire here, uh, which I think plugs into your Xbox 360. Well, I am now looking over the instructions and it doesn't look like there's anything on how to install it, but it does have a, a thing to mount it onto a dildo penis. Okay, well, I was able to find the app finally and uh, just a little warning before you download this, just know that there is an age restriction. Um, they recommend that ages four and up download it. So just just know that if you're three years old, please uh, be, be cautious. Don't don't download this. But um, if you're four, it's totally okay. So <laughs> go ahead and just open that app. Oh, please send me notifications. I would love that. As you can see, it is totally working now uh, due to this light being on. So you, now you can see my stupid ass face. Wow, look at that. It's so fucking cool. <laughs> ah. I hope that this is a one size fits all because Now that we have it out, as you can see, um, I will try to attempt to show you everything that it can do, while at the same time trying to dodge demonetization like an anti-vax kid trying to dodge polio. Hey guys, what's up? Vlogging with the cock cam. You know, there's not many cylindrical things I can put this on that wouldn't result in the termination of my channel, so those were just some of the examples. And now that I've had my hands-on experience with the cock cam, I have several ideas on how they can uh, improve the product, as well as, you know, just other products that they can make as well, that I will be sending to them periodically and definitely not getting my email blocked. Hello, I have reviewed your product and I have some ideas on how it can not suck. First, it needs to measure your thrusts and rhythms, sort of like a Fitbit, only this is a fit dick. Ha ha ha. Secondly, can you please make a product that puts a barrier between the anus and the hoog in the hole so that a guy can't slip out and accidentally, you know, put it in the wrong hole. Got some brand name ideas for you, you can call it the Taint Wall. I expect a cut of the royalties for the creation of the Taint Wall. Also, you know it'd be neat? A pill or something that makes your nut taste like Lucky Charms. I've been told mine tastes like soggy boogers and that's not cool, my guy. Thanks for your time. Sincerely, Destry Smith. That's right, you thought Soldier Boy was a great innovator. Well, step aside. Destry Smith, the inventor of the Taint Wall, how's it going? For the love of God, stop saying Taint Wall. Dude, that's what it's called. Started from the bottom, now I'm here. Still at the bottom. <laughs> it's genius. It could have a voice in it that like, tells them, you know, like, 
Wrong hole. Which could also double as a guide for guys who suck at getting it in. Is it in? That's my eye socket. Oh, uh, what about now? That's my sink. So now there's like a voice guide that would be like, the vagina hole is 1.3 inches due south. My god, these are such good ideas. I have to email them and tell them about it. Last of news that should never have to be news, but for some reason is. Let me just read this headline for you guys. <clears throat> Doctors urge women to stop putting garlic in their vaginas. What the fuck? I don't know, but you hear that, ladies? Stop it. To be literally all of you saying, Destry, I've truthfully never considered doing that. Then you're lying, and you need to stop it. Doctors care about you. You gotta quit it. Okay? Oh man, vampires around the world are collectively shedding a single tear right now. Let me touch your again. Oh no, there's garlic! <laughs> but honestly, what the f Like why? Is it for the taste? There's easier ways to make it taste better, and it's not like garlic's gonna do the trick anyway. No one in the history of ever is like, yeah, you know, I love when pussy tastes like a f***ing carbonara. You don't season a vagina. It's not an olive garden salad. Would you like some fresh ground pepper in your vagina, madam? Oh great, just tell me when to stop. But this article is just one of several in the past year of doctors urging women not to put dangerous things in there, including parsley, cucumbers, and bath bombs, with the latest warning saying not to put full cloves of garlic in there because that apparently is something some people are doing at the moment. Jesus Christ, are you trying to make a f***ing stew in there? You know, I like how everyone gives guys shit, like, Oh no, dude! Men are so gross! They're so nasty, dude! Any kind of, like, hole they find, they just jam their weenies in! Like, couches and, like, grapefruit, dude! Meanwhile, but gynecologist Dr. Jennifer Gunter, who wrote the book, The Vagina Bible, this story is too much for me. The Vagina Bible? What the? What? Has revealed that garlic has properties that could help cure yeast infections, and that's why the trend has started cropping up. But that you seriously should not do it due to the bacteria of the soil that the garlic was harvested in. Now you know from a credited doctor not to put garlic in your vagina. That's right. Instead, Dr. Gunter recommends that you slice up the garlic before you insert it in your vagina. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, well, I was not expecting that. I was pretty convinced by the title of this article being in big bold letters saying, Stop putting garlic in your or vagina. Holy f But this doctor's like, nah, you can do it. Just, you know, cut it up and clean it first. Or how about just don't do it at all, mother f***er? Also, I made sure to use my considerable influence to tell people the dangers of this with my very informative and concise tweet, which reads, don't put garlic in your vagina. <laughs> Ah, I love the amount of people that saw this and were like, Destry, what the hell? <laughs> now you know. Anyways, that is it for this episode of What The F*** News. Thank you guys so much for watching, and also thank you to Shannon Fellows and all of my other beautiful patrons who allow me to keep doing what I love. Make sure to like this video to let me know that you guys liked it, and also subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to be told when I make new videos. Which on that note, guys, I did just release my music video for my original song, Dancing In The Dark, which took us a hot minute to film and edit that thing. But I'm super proud of how it turned out, and uh, guys, please, please, please go check it out. Uh, it would mean a lot to me if you guys went and just told me what you thought about it. That's it guys, I will see you next time for another What The F*** News. Thanks for watching, and fair winnings.